Ready? Okay. Begin test. And we are recording. Are you sure we couldn't find a D class for this? They're all busy. What? Class state night. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Oh. Okay. Um. I don't want to touch it though. You have to. But yeah. Well, yes, but I don't want to touch but it. But you have to. You're gonna make me touch it, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna make you touch it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Report. Uh, uh, subject appears to be um. Doctor Blue. Well, I think this is just a normal teddy bear. You know, I don't think this is 1048 at all. Well, that's a relief. Actually, you know what? He's kind of cute. <laughs> what about that other one? What other one? <laughs> oh! Bitch. You saw the video, I saw the video. That shot was not possible through non-anomalous means. Start drafting special containment procedures. I'm bringing them in. While we are ecstatic to have the little chef return, it does mean that we have to deal with the milk demons that seem to haunt its immediate presence again. Agent Nugget does the best he can, but you see, they're just impolite is the word I'll use. And then, look at it. Look, it just, it's gonna leave. How rude. Security is looking to upgrade potential. Oh, there's my boy. There's my boy. All right. I'll take Hold this. On. This is new. A murderer becomes a serial killer with just two more kills. That is a motivational quote. I'd put that up on my wall. I'd prefer that to like live, laugh, love. I could put it right up here. But why would you want to be normal? Ah! This entity makes me uncomfortable in a myriad of ways. But none so much as what happens when you see its reflection. Why is it different? You said the UIU was a joke. You said they had no funding. Then why does another federal branch, the Postal Service, have extra dimensional packages of police? Oh my god, I just heard. Yeah. Yeah. Look at you. You look amazing. You're just, what do you, like, you just, you're filled out and taller. I see that. If anybody should have this, it should be you. To celebrate Black History Month, why don't we highlight some African-American SCP characters? Today we'll focus on SCP-3812, a voice behind me. Sam Howell was a seemingly normal fellow until he died in 1996. Then he just stopped being dead. From there, Sam started to exhibit abilities similar to what we call reality benders. Oh, if only it were that simple. You see, reality bending is an awesome power to have. You can change things in the universe to your liking, but you're still limited to your universe, your sandbox to play in. But Sam specifically can ascend layers of narrative reality. So Sam can mess around in the foundation verse, but then hop into our narrative layer with the authors, and then can hop above us and above us, and either there's a top level or there's an infinity, but either way, Sam has dominion over all. You'll see in addendum 5 of the article that the author literally pulled the god card and started throwing everything it could imagine to destroy SCP-3812, and when it didn't work, the author apologized to the in-universe foundation saying, I couldn't stop it and I think it's bigger than me now. The only reason any of us still exist is because Sam decided that, with infinite realities being like grains of sand, why would you just destroy one grain of sand? So that's why the Foundation verse and the Author verse and all of it is still standing, because there's no reason to destroy something like that. Which of you looked at its face? Which of you looked at its face? Whichever one of you was, you need to leave the group now. If the rest of you see 096's face, we will be bringing back body bags of ground beef. Do you hear me? D-1157, go ahead and try out the light switch. First on. Mm-hmm. And then off. Incredible. Localized solar anomaly. Hey, what are you doing? Stop flipping the switch. Are we going to tell people there were four solar eclipses in one day? I have been wandering this construction site for two hours, and I've seen no sign of... Whoa! He's going to do it. He's going to do it. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. Oh, you wimp. For reasons we are still researching, butterflies are a creature that have an abnormally high amount of anomalous variants. From SCP-408, the camouflage butterflies, to SCP-553, the crystalline butterflies, and let's not forget SCP-3209, the butterflies that feed on interest, of all things. But none are quite so spiteful as SCP- Redacted. Over here. I mean, dang. Stop a homicide. Oh. Situation. Chemical plant explosion. Really? Look. Incredible. That one ain't smoke, man. Whatever the fuck that is. Cloud-like anomaly. Delta, bring a sample back to the lab. That shit's coming right at us, man. We finna bounce, dog. Are you running from a cloud? What happened to best and the brightest? Shelter in place. Shelter in place. Let's get the fuck out of here. What's with these new recruits? All right. I call that break time. Because there is no canon, education requirements to join the Foundation vary from story to story. Most stories seem to go with the Men in Black method. We hire the best of the best of the best, sir. We scout them out, we check their credentials, we give them an offer, and if they take it, then we erase their identity and hire them on. And if they don't take the job, it's their memory we erase. Then you have tales like Alma Mater, which you can listen to on the Site42 YouTube channel, and they're a little bit darker. In that one, we hire college grads with no prospects as junior researchers, pump them full of online classes, and no, there's no accreditation, we're a secret organization. And then, okay, you're a doctor now, good job. Then there's this one tale that I know I read, but I can't find it anywhere on the wiki, so if you find it, you gotta tell me. But there's this retired Fed, and the Foundation's like, hey, work for us, and he's like, I don't want to work for you. And they're like, hey, work for us, and he goes on the run, and then we capture him, and then we make him a D-class because he won't work for us. So however you got hired, welcome aboard. Secure. Contain. Protect. People often wonder how the Foundation gets its funding. We don't work for the government, so how can we afford to be a globe-trotting containment research and paramilitary organization? Well, it's no Velcro like our friends in the Men in Black, but the SCP-999 cloning project has been quite lucrative. Mobile Task Force Kappa-7, codenamed Tumnus Trappers, are you in position? We have visual on the entity. Capture operation is a go. Agent Nugget, we've got you on visual. Give us a status check on the little chef. Ha-ha! <laughs> that answer is complicated. Let's see what we can do. SCP-148 refers to Telekill Alloy, which, for simplicity's sake, is an anomalous metal that blocks psychic powers. There are two versions of this article we have to pay attention to, the original and the rewrite. Now to truly understand why Telekill Alloy was rewritten and is a meme now, I have to take you through a little bit of history of how the SCP Wiki culture has evolved over the past 15 years. In 2022, the SCP Wiki operates on a there is no canon model. This means that every page that you write on the wiki can take or leave different parts of the SCP Wiki and still make a story that works as long as it's internally consistent. This also lends to a concept where each page on the wiki should tell its own story. Even if it's a tiny little mystery, we don't really know what's going on, most pages on the wiki follow this rule that each page has a story of its own. However, the original SCP Wiki was one single locked canon, and all of the articles had to be consistent with the overarching narrative. Articles also used to be a lot simpler, and this is because they didn't need to tell a story in themselves, but they could provide utility to a story in a tale or in another SCP article, and the crossover would make it worth having. SCP-148, the Telekill Alloy, was not much more than a magical item in a D&D manual. We have this limited amount of telepath nullifying metal, and we're going to use it to contain entities. For me, the one pro to having Telekill Alloy was that it allows you to tell stories with these more powerful entities that normally you wouldn't be able to contain. But there were a lot more negatives than there were positives. Telekill Alloy ended up in a whole bunch of different SCP articles, and not in a greatly thought out way, it was kind of just used as a win button. A tightrope we still kind of walk with Scranton reality anchors, and notice that those don't have their own article. Now I'm not sure if the article got downvoted down to the threshold where it's either delete it or rewrite it, or if the author rewrote it themselves or allowed someone else to rewrote it, but it was eventually rewritten. This rewrite gave Telekill Alloy a catch. It seems to be gaining mass somehow whenever it sucks up telepathic energy, so we don't use it because that probably we don't want to find out what would happen. So yeah, Telekill Alloy is a meme because it was a weak, unnecessary article that was overused into oblivion and was clowned on because of it. 
Come on, you're almost there. There's a nice D class waiting in the cage at the bottom, and that D, it stands for delicious. Uh, come on, I have tickets to the game tonight. Oh, hello. Ah. You must be one of those costumed players I've heard so much about. What? You're obviously quite talented at it, and I imagine you bring a great deal of joy to people's lives. Is this too meta? Much for all you do. You're welcome. You're not to be eaten by anything squamous. Definitely too meta. Okay, so I'm out by USF because that's where I go to school. Send for engineering, them a switch. And I passed that's a where I went vehicle. to school. Is is this you? There's a lap coat in there. Is this is you? Is that a flarking SCP vehicle at my old like, campus? Is there anomalies around? Is, Which is of you is it? Recruited? Am I? Is is this? How? I mean, I, I haven't gone there in ten, no, fifteen years. I don't want to share any more details about the vehicle because it's like I don't want to give away somebody's identity. I told Especially you that dress SCP. library was haunted. Um, but just know that damn library he has something it. in it. Not to worry, sir. We have eyes on the entity, and one of our top agents is en route to retrieve it. These nut hot gotti. Sir. Apparently they're calling it the anomaly zoo, which I think is just making it too easy for us. Yeah, at this yeah, point. clear for approach. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh nine six has had a massive baby. Oh. I've got the killing in existence! Sorry, Doc, but the pen is muddier than the sword. This is a gun. Sword! Oh, yeah. Approved! We sent the plague doctor in with Harvey. Let's see what happens. Oh, he neutralized him! The back rooms are not an SCP. But if they were, how would the SCP Foundation contain them? As a quick primer, the back rooms are a sort of alternate universe that one can fall into through spatial anomalies. This is colloquially known as no clipping, named for the video game term for walking through solid surfaces or objects. Much like with the SCP Foundation's There Is No Canon rule, there are many differing interpretations of what the back rooms are. Some purists prefer only the original creepypasta, with the original yellow level and some vague mentions of entities, while fans of the Backrooms Wiki or the Kane Pixel series will have differing interpretations. Regardless of which version you prefer, I believe one thing we all can agree on is that the Foundation would have a snowball's chance in 457's chamber of successfully containing the Backrooms. While there are many who have compared the Backrooms to SCP-3008 The Infinite Ikea, and there are some similarities, that store has a set doorway that we can keep people from entering and exiting. The fact that you can no-clip from anywhere at any time makes this far too worldwide a phenomenon for us to conceivably contain. Now if the Foundation could find or create a stable entryway, then we'd have a situation like SCP-093, exploration logs with D-Class and mobile task force members of the multiple levels, and the horrors that we bring upon ourselves in the world with our continued experimentation. Leave us more entities to contain in the comments. Secure. Contain. Protect. We don't need every SCP ever, we just need one. SCP-3812 starts in the Minecraft game, ascends to the real plane of existence, deletes Minecraft off the computer, Minecraft Steve is gone. The meta characters who can fight their own creators always break these games, like Popeye. If you would calm your flatware for five seconds, your food would stop hippity-hopping around the plate, and you can finally <laughs> eat it! Don't yell at me! I swear to 343, you do this every time! Yellow? Hey, uh, so I've got a report in that Peanut's missing? Uh, Peanut? Yeah, uh, the Peanut. You got a Snickers bar if you're hungry. No, I'm talking about an SCP. I don't know about any Peanut anomalies, but I can check the database yeah. for you. You know, Peanut, don't blink. Not ringing any bells. It's, it's like the most popular SCP. It's like the most famous SCP. I mean, maybe famous, but 096682 yeah. in the Ikea, those are popular. The sculpture, the statue thing. We have a lot of statue anomalies. You know, Peanut, body, you know... Some little baby arms. Now you're not making any sense. Graffiti face. Are we cool yet? Does graffiti entities? No. Did you just like just did you just get here? No, I've been did here I a while. To somebody who's been here a while. I've been here a while. Anyone else? Nope, just me. You're killing me, Spall. Begin I'm test. Killing in existence. <laughs> what the hell are you wearing? Bunkin. <laughs> Why? Protection. Uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's not how that. Uh, Reggie is correct. That's not how that works. Shoot me. What's this? <laughs> test what? success. You see, no, the bucket no, is not the anomaly in this no, test. No. The subject is. The subject is both a reality bender and an idiot. As long as he believes in the bucket, it will protect him. And bothering Reggie is a bonus. What if I told you you have but ten minutes to live? Whoa! Who even let him have that? Before I give 
made you a million dollars. Should I have started with that? I'm not saying uh, this is on you completely, but that was a really uh, obtuse way to phrase that. You should probably leave. Yeah, get back um, to your cell. I'll call cleanup. So sorry. Test failed. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.